In this video, we're going to take a look at the present value function. It's PV for short. And this tells us um, how much you can afford to borrow today if you know how much you can afford to make in payments. Um, this is actually kind of useful if you're in the process of buying a car or a house. Um, frequently, you know how much you can afford to pay every month. Uh, what you don't know is how far that'll go towards uh, your purchase. You know whether you can afford uh, a house that's a hundred thousand dollars or a house that's two hundred thousand dollars, and it depends on all of these factors here. So um, this is a present value problem. So let's uh, gray out the present value. That's what we're trying to compute. We'll put the answer over here in the blue box, and it says we can afford payments of one thousand dollars. Uh, every month, put 1,000 in there, and it says we are going to make monthly payments. So it'll be 12 periods per year, and we are going to do this for 30 years. So this kind of sounds like a house buying problem, and the annual interest rate is going to be 8.00 percent, and the ending balance on um, paying off a loan is going to be zero. And then the last thing is, are we doing this at the beginning or the end of each month? We're doing it at the end, so let's put a zero in there. Okay. So if we know those things, we should be able to figure out how much money we can afford to borrow if these are the parameters for paying the money back. So let's go to E10 here, the blue box. And let's go up to our Formulas tab and click on Financial. And we want uh, the PV function. And so it wants the rate. Well, the rate is the rate per period, remember, so it's going to be this. And the number of periods is going to be what I've labeled NPER over here. It is uh, 12 times 30 is 360. And what's an order of payment is going to be? Payment is always negative, so let's do a minus sign first, and then let's do the number 1000 up here in B3. And what's the future value of this going to be? It's going to be the, that's the ending balance, so it's going to be B7. And what's the type, beginning or end? And we said it's going to be the end, so we put a zero in there. Again, we're putting um, cell references in here. We're not putting numbers in there. It's a bad idea to put actual numbers in. So let's click on OK. And it tells us that if those are the payments we can afford to make, then that's how much we can afford to borrow. And if we do $1,000 a month for 30 years at 8,000, or sorry, 8%, then that's how much money we can afford to borrow right now. There are two other versions of the present value function. One has to do with savings, and the other one has to do with winning the lottery. We'll take a look at both of those in future videos.